Copic friends, Michelle Houghton here. I am putting together a new video for you here. We are using some brand new um, stamps. These are rubber stamps from Rubber Necker Stamps, and they are full slimline card length dimension ready to go. So what I'm gonna be doing is I am gonna have one if not two videos featuring there are four of these and I'm gonna do two of them and I'm focusing in on um, they have a fall one looks like that and then I'm gonna color today their Halloween one which looks like this and they also have a Christmas here you go and they have a birthday Day. So you can imagine with all of this detail, it's going to take a little time. What I am going to do is I'm going to start with some main color groups. So you're going to see me start by picking out a color group. So on the Halloween one, I might start with some purples or some blacks or some oranges. I know I'm going to use those three and probably some yellow greens and maybe some yellows. But I'm going to start with one family group and I'm going to kind of work my way across and find as many of those areas as, as I can and kind of color all of those. Then I'll come back with my next color group and do the same thing. But because of all this detail, it's going to take some time. There's no way I can leave this real time. It would kill us all. And I'm using really basic color combinations. I'm going to use natural blending groups. So when I pick out my oranges, I'm gonna pick out one little group of yellow or, um, yellow reds. When I pick out my purples, I'm gonna pick one little group of violets. Now I will give a little tweak there on the yellow reds. For my oranges, I might include some yellow and yellow reds for because a really good pumpkin color is gonna probably include both. But a lot of these are gonna be this kind of one mixing group that I then move across the page. So you'll see those at the beginning. I'll kind of share what I'm using for that group of colors and then I'll just keep coloring. Um, but it is gonna be at a faster pace. I'll play some, get some music going and you guys can just enjoy and sit back and watch. But these are really fun. You could leave them as is and it can be the entire card. You really wouldn't need anything else. Or they have some really amazing, fun, new slimline dies. You could kind of window and peek at pieces of them. You could do windows that you then open the card and see the full thing. I mean, there would be a lot of options here. You could even break it down into sections. I've got one of those in mind already for myself. So we're going to get started. I'm going to start on my Halloween one, and I think I will start with my either blacks, violets, or oranges, but you're gonna see all of them here eventually anyway. So, off we go. Yes, you saw that right. Somehow I hit stop when I needed to record and then play when my markers were sitting quietly on the desktop. So you're missing the oranges or more specifically the yellow reds or at least the pumpkins yellow reds. So I gave you a flash of what those colors were. It was a YR18 at the edges, a YR04 and then a Y35. I did work from dark to light on those segments, kind of like what I'm doing right now in the blue violets. So 
And really to start, I only did the pumpkins. I wasn't looking for anything else. You're gonna see those yellow reds come back in as I start filling in all those tiny details. Cause I do, I'm doing the big stuff here on this first sweep. I'm looking for big, obvious things. And so I'm picking kind of the, the feathers all went blue violet. And then some of these candies are going blue violet. All of the pumpkins went yellow reds. But I didn't try to pick out, oh, should I do this stripe on this spider web or this stripe on this piece of candy until I got further along. So with that being said, we've skipped on to the blue violets and that's what you're watching now. Um, I will head us back to the music and you can continue watching. Sorry about that, everybody.
whoosh, my hands are getting tired. My eyes as well. I don't know about you. So this is actually just winding down, believe it or not. So what you saw here at the end is I used a BV29 and literally filled in the entire background area. So I could see better what had not been colored. Um, it actually helped once I had like 80, 90% of it colored to do that. And it actually popped forward some of those areas that I still wanted to add color. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. I have thoroughly enjoyed sharing the new slimline stamp from Rubbernecker. I hope you all have a happy, colorful week.